alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new video. It's been a while. I think it's been like a month since my last post, but uh, I got quite a few things to talk about for this race, so uh, let's get started. So this is Tiger Run. It's basically a uh, big buck, just a different track on the same property. Uh, and they name it Tiger Run, but it's at the same spot of uh, Big Buck. Anyway, uh, this time we're on the right schedule. We're racing on Sunday, 8 in the morning. So, YXC1, you guys will see my start here pretty soon. But, uh, it wasn't as cold as Big Buck, but, um, I could actually see this time, and I had goggles, so. Alright, so, let's get ready. So we're off to a horrible start. I mean, I think I was almost last, practically last in that first corner, so uh, not the start we were looking for, but we will have to start working our way up pretty soon, and uh, it just makes my life that much harder. Anyway, uh, reason why no post, like, I didn't make any post last month was because the race weekend of Florida and Georgia, they uh, they were like in one week, so I'd stay down there, and then we had that three week break. But uh, during that three week break, I was just trying to get all my schoolwork done because I spent a week and a half with no school, so I had a lot of work to catch up on, and uh, just I don't know the Florida video for GoPro. Um, I think it was only for like 10 minutes, and half of the video was like covered with sand. And in Georgia, you saw what mess that was, and if you didn't, it was a mud fest. Um, I still I still do have the, the GoPro video and everything. Um, for the Georgia one, you can see like, sort of. So if you want me to post it, I'll post it. I uh, can voice over it as well if you guys want, but um, let me know. And then we came off to a somewhat a good start. We were able to salvage a little bit. Uh, I think making three or four positions just off the bat right there. That's Canyon Richards. He goes down right there. Uh, so we make another pass. And we're behind Brody and Kate Stats. So you guys will see here pretty soon. Brody makes a pass on Kate right here. I was going to go straight, but Brody went out. And uh, Kate just kept going where I was gonna go but right here Brody was able to edge him out and uh, he got the pass and I unfortunately didn't first lap it's really important to uh, not fall and uh, just keep up with the group see where you're at see how the track feels and this track here is really slick at least for me it was so for this first two laps or so I was a little uneasy but Right here, we take a nice straight shot line, make the pass uh, to Cade, and now we're behind Brody Amos. Biggest thing in these types of races, especially these long races, but uh, like that one mistake can cost you the whole race, is this consistency. Consistency is key. Uh, I almost kept it uh, the whole race off the ground but you guys will see her pretty soon more towards the end of the video I uh, make a little bobble and uh, go down luckily it wasn't nothing too bad and uh, yeah the track here I prefer this track more than Big Buck itself um, I don't know I just uh, I just like this way uh, this track layout was and usually the track is backwards compared to what we did from Big Buck but this year uh, we had a few sections that were backwards, but oh, and that was Austin Sakonikas that was on the ground there. Um, if you saw that, he was on the bottom of the screen. But, uh, like I was saying, uh, I prefer this type of layout because usually GNCC does uh, this track backwards of Big Buck. But this time they added a few new sections. Uh, it wasn't new, but it wasn't completely backwards either. So, it was a lot of different things. So Brody gets by Meatball, Meatball lets me by here, we all love Meatball, Meatball's a legend. But anyway, thank you Meatball. Uh, that puts us another position up, so now I am in 5th, 
Uh, should be James Jenkins up front. The Kawasaki kid, I have no idea what his name is. The Gas Gas kid up here, and Brody, and then me. And that Gas Gas kid goes down. Uh, sorry to refer you guys that, I just did not know your name. And uh, right here, I don't follow Brody, I take the outer line and uh, make basically a two for one. Putting me at the third, and uh, now we've got to catch this Kawasaki kid. Right there, little bobble, my front end, I uh, got cross rotted, so uh, luckily I saved it. But like I said, it was really slick, and it didn't even look like it either. But uh, James Jenkins, he probably opened up like a 10 second lead, 15 second lead. So, we just gotta try to get by this 94 as fast as we can, and put our head down and catch up to James Jenkins. Right here, the 94 gets out of our way and uh, puts us to second. So now, all we gotta do is not crash and uh, keep the ball rolling. This section of this track right here, I liked it a lot. I don't know what it was, but I think it was just the fresh trills or something. I'm not really sure, but. Uh, pulling off a tear off right there, but I don't know why I just like this section of the track. It's probably my favorite section of the track, and uh, you see on the top of your screen right there, that is James Jenkins, first place. Uh, I was catching him bit by bit, and here I was able to close up to his rear wheel. I went with, uh, I carried my speed throughout this whole rock section, and uh, caught up to him. Out here, I was trying to go wide into this soft stuff right there. Because uh, if you look to the right, that hard pack stuff is really hard to corner on. Especially if there's no rut or no berm. And it's really slick. So I'm trying to get into this soft stuff and make my life easier to corner. And uh, the chance of me crashing much lower. As the day went through on, uh, I think this track got better, but it got rougher. Um, it wasn't that type of rough where it would uh, get you tired. It was that type of rough where it would catch you off guard once in a while. So it really kept you on your toes. Right here, basically all over the champions right now. Uh, if he makes a little mistake or something, I can capitalize. And right here, I did have the chance to go for it, but I didn't want to push it. Because um, like I said, first, that most important thing is uh, staying off that ground. Right here, just taking a different line, just not following him. Little ref right there. Um, here, I did mess up my line. Here, I should I just followed him, but I didn't. So I lost a few seconds right there. tight section. Uh, usually JCC doesn't put any like tight sections like this, but um, they did for this race and it was really fun. Sucks when you catch the lappers and everything, but it was still really fun. A lot different than the usual really high paced GNCC. It may not look like it, but here it was so slick. Uh, the quads didn't come through here. This was a bike only section, so we were basically cleaning up the dirt for uh, the pro riders and everything. And it was full of like, I'm not saying leaves, but I don't know what you call it, but it was just really slick. But anyway, coming out of the woods, now we're going to the finish line. Unfortunately, uh, the GoPro did get covered a little bit, and I did not clean it off um, until after I made the pass. This place right here just went really smooth. Um, me and the kid up ahead right here, we did different lines. I just took the straight inside. He went to that soft stuff and like squared up the corner, which was really smart. 
here I went too fast, uh, underestimated the corner. Sacred mud. You see right there, I was trying to corner more into that soft stuff instead of that hard pack stuff. Um, it just makes the life a little bit easier when it comes to cornering. So here, pay attention on James Jenkins. He go outside, I go inside. He goes from outside to the other outside. And uh, I had a perfectly straight line and was able to make the pass on him and uh, take the lead. So from now on, I kind of just rode my rode my race, um, kept my head down, tried my best to not look back, and uh, start opening up that gap, which I did. And more later towards the race, um, Caleb Wood from the second row, he uh, caught me on time adjustment, and he actually was leading for like 14 seconds ahead of me. But uh, my dad did signal that to me, so we were just controlling the race. Uh, we controlled the whole race actually. As soon as we uh, fell back a little bit in second overall, we caught right back up and uh, we took home the first place overall. So, uh, unfortunately, the GoPro did die around. Uh, second and a half laps. I'm not sure why. I was recording in a higher resolution, so I'm assuming that's what it was. I was recording on a 120 frames per second instead of the usual 30. I accidentally changed it and forgot to change it back, so I'm assuming that's what happened. So I only recorded like half of the race, unfortunately. But uh, for the next race at Camp Coker, I will make sure I don't do that. Also, stay tuned. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know much about motocross or anything, but uh, I'm going to Southwick doing Loretta qualifiers, uh, known as area qualifiers, then regionals, and then if you can qualify in both of those, you go to Loretta's. Uh, I'm going to be making a video, I will be going there, and we're going to be trying to qualify, and we're going to see how that goes. So uh, stay tuned, we're doing a lot of things different this year, and it's going to be pretty entertaining to watch. So this is already coming to the end of the second lap, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I started already catching a lot of lappers. When it comes to lappers, sometimes it's better just being patient than just trying to barge your way in there and uh, potentially crashing or hurting yourself in a way. So um, this one, for this race, uh, Ooh, that bike sounds good. But like I was saying, for this race, I was a bit more patient with the lappers. I wasn't more patient with the revving, I was just more patient of where I was putting my bike and uh, how I was getting by the lappers. Right here, I take the outside and that soft stuff, and make a corner. This race is, um, in my opinion, mainly more technique. Uh, you can have the speed and everything, but if you don't have that technique, I feel like it would make it much harder on you to have all that speed and use all that speed because this track here on um, some places is really really slick other places there's rocks where you don't see them, roots where you don't see them so it has a lot of things and for this race they had a single track as well a uh, single trail so they had some pretty tight stuff so you gotta be good with maneuvering uh, it's a lot of different things that I, uh, I enjoyed so right here, made a pass on this lapper, went to take this inside, my back end hit that tree root and climbed up the tree and just tossed me. So uh, got up pretty fast, probably lost around 8 seconds right there, and those 8 seconds almost cost me the overall and the win. So you see, uh, once you get into these front row, uh, literally milliseconds count. Uh, winning a race. So 
though. You gotta always be pushing your hardest throughout the whole race because sometimes you're just that much off of getting a win or getting your goal for an overall. But anyway, my GoPro does end up dying here. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for the area qualifiers and uh, yeah, see you guys soon. Good night.